So you've got your RS2, you've charged up the batteries, you've updated the firmware, and you want to get it ready for work. In the use case that this receiver is going to be used as a rover, consuming corrections via NTRIP from the internet, we're going to need to add a SIM card to this receiver so that it can access mobile data. To do that, we're going to open up the SIM flap and get to the nano SIM tray inside it. And then we're going to take our nano SIM, break it out of its holder, and insert that into the Reach RS2. And you can see I've got quite big fat fingers, so in various points of this process, I'm going to depend on a pen for more delicate maneuvering of components. Today, we're going to be inserting a SIM card for Telstra's network, as we're working in regional Queensland and their coverage is generally better up in the regions. So to insert the SIM card, we need to open up the flap that is labelled SIM. And when we open that, you can see inside a couple of things. First, a QR code that's not related to what we're doing today, but if you scan that, it'll actually give you the serial number of your receiver. Down inside the port, you can see there is the SIM tray and it's in a locked position. It's locked when it's slid to the left and when you slide it across to the right, it is unlocked. So I'm going to put my finger on it, gently press down and slide it across to the right and you can sort of feel it um, notch um, into the unlocked position. Now, a, wor a, a word to the new here, um, be careful opening this with your fingers as it's very easy to disconnect the very fine hinges that connect the SIM tray to the receiver. I tend to use a pen because it allows me to be a little bit more delicate with my movements rather than my giant fat fingers. Um, and now I'm able to insert my SIM. So we've opened up our tray. You can see that the tray's open and printed on the tray is a little indicator of the nano SIM that shows you how the SIM card should be oriented. So it should be oriented with the contacts facing back towards me and with the little notched corner of the SIM card pointing up. So we're now going to carefully insert that into the tray. It's a little bit tricky. There are some little guiding things along the side that help to hold the SIM card in the tray once it's in there. So you've got to kind of tuck it in behind that. And it's a little hard to do it while I'm also trying to hold this at an angle that you guys can see what's going on at home. There we go. And you can see those little holders um, that are holding that SIM card into the tray. So that's a good indicator that you've got it in properly and that it isn't ac accidentally sitting in the tray but with one side in front of those guides. So we've got it in, it's down nice and firm. So we're gonna push that SIM card tray closed and then we're going to push back in the opposite direction. You need to push fairly firmly um, so that it's now locked. So that's now locked and ready to use. So we've got our SIM card secure in the SIM tray. It's locked in. We can now close the flap to exclude all the water and dust and keep our SIM card clean and dry. And in our next video, we'll use ReachView 3 to activate mobile data so we can start to consume an NTRIP correction. I'm Alastair Hart. Thanks for joining us here at Mango's Mapping. See you next time. <laughs>